and mind I'm free for you to draw I'm a chef shifter Chained down to my face Please don't take off my mind Nice! Oh! Makoto. <sighs> hey.
Hm? Ah. Uh, so. Get a word in. Yes. What is the matter? <laughs> Let's go! Try this skill soon. It seems I've become too passionate. I'm glad you were here. You have my thanks. You're like Theo. I am aware. 
I was referring to Van Gogh's brother, Theo. Van Gogh did not achieve fame in his lifetime, but found an admirer and supporter in his brother. Well, there aren't many who are willing to deal with my eccentricity. By the way, what's in your hand? A card? Hmm. Whenever I see blank paper, I have the urge to draw something on it. May I? Possible. Good. What? Hmm. A satisfactory result. Well, what do you think? Not bad, wouldn't you say? Soon enough, my slump will be a thing of... My picture turned into a real skill card? Indeed. Would you mind helping me further? If I can overcome the slump, I should be able to aid our group like earlier. Uh, perhaps even more so. I know. Why don't we act as the Thebes we are and strike a deal? It's a deal then. Multiple cards were discovered among your belongings, replicas of the same design. I don't have a clue how these cards were used, but someone proficient in the arts was close to you. What were you having this person do? I am thou. Thou art I. Thou hast acquired a new vow. It shall become the wings of rebellion that breaketh thy chains of captivity. With the birth of the Emperor Persona, I have obtained the winds of blessing that shall lead to freedom and new power. All right. We've done enough for today. I've completed a rough sketch. I'll finish this back at the door. I'll contact you once it's done. I'll see you later. Real?
about it. Are you serious? man.
Welcome! Hmm? Hey! Who oh boy? <laughs> ah, she reeks of booze. <laughs> what a surprise! I thought you were joking, yet here you are! I respect that bravery, so I'll listen to what you have to say. Well, what do you want to know? Oh. Why that? Hmm. Well, I do happen to know something about that. I could tell you, but... Do you know the Phantom Thieves of Hearts? You know, that case the public has been focused on lately. I was pursuing the issue of people randomly entering into a shutdown state, but I'm lacking intel. That's why I'm currently looking for new material to write about. So, do you have any info on these phantom thieves? You're a Shujin kid, right? I remember you wearing their uniform the last time we met. I thought maybe you might have some insider knowledge on the phantom thieves because of it. Their first incident was that of Kamoshida, you know? Ideally, I'd like to get some exclusive coverage from a student who suffered Kamoshida's abuse. I would love an introduction if you know of someone who fits the bill. After all, it seems like handling this matter in the open would be an inconvenience to us both. Hmm. A student who suffered from abuse. Oh, what about that Mishima guy? He always seems to be on the side of the Phantom Thieves. It's a deal, then! Send me your friend's contact info later. You'd better be thankful. My quick wit is the only reason we're getting this far. Now that I think about it, those mental shutdowns and the Phantom Thieves both seem supernatural. Could they be related? Or am I just hoping for a coincidence? Oh, sorry. I have a tendency to talk to myself on occasion. Well then. You can't exactly consider this an upfront payment, but... Junya Kaneshiro. I think he's probably the guy you're looking for. Yes! You should check him out further if you're curious. But I'm not responsible for what happens next. Lala-chan, can I get a refill for this kid? We need to make a toast to our new acquaintance! It'll be a problem if you stay too long. You should leave right after you finish your water.
Want to head back? You guys ditched me yesterday. I, I almost entered a world I want nothing to do with. What are you talking about? Nothing. Just start it up, Yusuke. Okay, I entered Kaneshiro's name into the nav. And just as expected, it's a hit. All we need now are the two other keywords. What he thinks of as his palace, and where it is. But we don't have any clues other than people falling victim around here. Eh, we'll just have to try whatever keywords we can come with. Ah, oh, that's gonna be impossible. How many buildings do you think there are in Shibuya? No complaining. If we can figure out what the palace is, we may be able to guess where it is by association. Hmm, it's probably somewhere he's got complete control over. Maybe a garden? No candidates found. He likes money, so what about a money bath? I've seen people online with things like that. No candidates found. No, not even close. How about it? Can you think of anything? I see. Candidates found. Okay, that's a hit. So, he thinks of somewhere in this city as his own bank. I thought it would be something less realistic. That's all it is, huh? Now then, what location would Kaneshiro think of as his bank? If we're talking about a place where he keeps his cash, maybe his own hideout? How about a real bank? His cognition wouldn't be distorted in that case. Damn it, we ain't getting anywhere. This may be difficult to explain, but doesn't it seem we're thinking a little too inside the box? Palaces emanate a passionate madness. It feels as though we're missing that aspect. The hell are you talking about? This palace is a bank for someone who extorts money with criminal acts. It's something more... But what other ways can we think about it? Oh, could it mean a place you withdraw money? Hold on. Do you think it might have something to do with the victims? He's taking money from his victims' wallets, right? That means his bank is wherever they are. That's terrible. But you may just be right. Oh, come on! How many people do you think Kaneshiro's taken advantage of in all of Shibuya? Result found. Wait a second. I have a hit. Huh? Oh, wait, what? D did I say something right? 
The place that Kaneshiro thinks of as a bank is all of Shibuya. What? Like, the entire city? I see. That's certainly where his victims are. It turns out he really is a terrible criminal. But wait, is it okay for us to go into the palace right out of a crowd like this? Eh, nobody notices if a piece of trash disappears from a trash can. This ain't any different. In that case, let's go. Beginning navigation. What are those? Walking ATMs. That must be his cognition of people. So this is what Kaneshiro considers a bank. I never thought it would be the entire district. Look around us. The distortion is affecting the whole of Shibuya. Huh? What do you mean? Oh, that's right. Even when we were in the castle and the museum, the city outside looked normal. He sees everyone in Shibuya as his patron. No surprise for a mafia boss. It's best we focus on finding Kaneshiro's location and stealing his treasure as soon as possible. Yeah, his hideout's gotta be somewhere around here. Let's go look for it. Let's go. 